Now, let us discuss the angle of contact. You dip a rod, glass rod in water. What will happen? At the surface of glass rod, the water molecules will cling together and slightly rises. So, the, at this end, it is slightly curved and also at the walls of the container, it is also slightly curved. So, when a glass plate is dipped in water, the water molecules cling to the surface of glass and the water molecules rise along the plate. Now, consider the case of mercury. If you dip a rod in the uh, mercury, what will happen? Here, the surface will be curved below. As shown in this diagram, it will be curved downwards. Here, the angle of contact will be more than 90 degree, that is obtuse angle. So, when the glass plate is dipped in mercury, the mercury molecules cling to the surface and the liquid is depressed along the plate. So, when in the case of water and glass, the water molecules rise up. In the case of mercury and glass, the mercury molecules goes downwards. Now, let us discuss the angle of contact. Angle of contact can be defined as the angle made by the tangent at the point of contact of the liquid surface with the glass surface inside the liquid. This angle may have any value between 0 and 180 degree. For most of the liquids and glass, theta is less than 90 degree. For example, water, the angle of contact is 0. Angle of contact for water and glass is 0. So, it is less than 90 degree. For example, mercury and glass, the angle of contact is nearly 140 degree. It is obtuse angle. It is more than 90 degree. It really depends upon the nature of the liquid and the solid. It is quite independent of the angle of inclination of the solid of the liquid surface. So, the angle of contact depends on the nature of liquid and the solid. Okay. Now, let us discuss the different shapes of liquid meniscus in a glass tube or a container. First, let us discuss the case of horizontal surface. When the liquid surface is horizontal, here A is the liquid molecule, molecule A. And there are, there are two forces, one is F1 acting along this B direction and another force A along AC, AC direction that is F2. And the vertical reaction is R and this F1 is opposed by the component of this force along E, A E. Consider a liquid in a glass tube, the molecule at A experiences force of adhesion F1 between it and the glass molecules. Two, force of cohesion F2 between it and the molecules of the liquid and F2 acts along AC making an angle of 45 degree with the walls of the tube. So, this is the case 1 for a horizontal surface what are the two forces. Here the surface of liquid is horizontal F2 is the force of cohesion acting along AC the component of F2 along AE is F2 sin theta. Therefore, F1 equal to F2 sin theta. Thus, the molecule A does not experience any force in the horizontal direction. The only force is in the vertical direction and is equal to F2 cos theta. There is no force along the horizontal direction. Therefore, the liquid is plane or the surface will be horizontal. Let us take the second case. Here, theta is 45 degree and the angle of contact is 90 degree. In this case, in the second case, liquid surface is convex. Here, the liquid surface is convex. The force it is F1 along AB and the force F2, the force of adhesion, it is along AC. And the resultant force is acting along AD. This is the case of mercury. The surface of liquid is convex. Here, F2 is along AC and F2 sin 45 is greater than F1. Therefore, the resultant force due to F1 and F2 is R and it is along AD. So, when the angle of contact is more than 90 degree and the liquid surface is convex, the surface of mercury in glass is convex. So, if you put mercury and if you dip a rod, the angle of contact will be more than 90 degree. If you take, a, take mercury in a glass tube, the upper surface will be convex. So, the meniscus will be convex. Now, let us discuss the second case. 
the liquid surface is concave. The example is water and glass. Here, the F1 is the force along AB and F2 is the force along AC. The resultant force is along AD. Here, the angle of contact theta will be it is less than 90 degree, it is acute angle. The surface of liquid is concave, F2 is along AC and F2 sin 45 is less than F1. So, in the resultant force due to F1 and F2 is R and is along AD. So, the angle of contact is less than 90 degree and the liquid surface is concave. So, water in a glass has a concave surface. So, in the case of water and glass, if you take water in a glass tube, the meniscus will be concave and the angle of contact will be less than 90 degree. So, in general, liquid that wet the glass surface have a concave surface and the liquids that do not wet the glass surface have a convex surface. So, mercury does not wet the glass, therefore, it is convex and the angle of contact will be more than 90 degree. For water, it wets the glass, so the angle of contact is less than 90 degree and it is a concave. Also, for liquids having higher force of adhesion with glass, the surface is concave and for liquids having lesser force of adhesion with glass, the surface is convex. Moreover, the angle of contact depends upon the nature of liquid and the solid in contact with the liquid. So, angle of contact is the angle between the liquid surface and the solid surface, it depends on the nature of solid and the liquid. 